Every eight hours, a rhino is being shot. The war is real. It is all over Southern Africa. It's not the same old game, but it's changing all the time. The anti-poaching guys are fighting the battle, but the battle is being lost. The common terminology is war, and uh, it is treated like a war, yes. Time is of the essence. We need to get there before the rhinos are gone. We can make a difference, but it has to happen now. We're trying to use UAV technology to protect high-value species like rhino, and it's ready to offer air support to anti-poaching units on the ground. The uniqueness of this project is enormous. The mission is twofold, really. We want to be a deterrent, and we want to make sure that we are catching poachers. If we can prevent an incursion, that will make a difference. We've tried to utilize technology and build technology that can deal with the harsh climate and the harsh environment that the African bush throws at us. We are an isolated, self-contained unit with rapid deployment capability. If we're going on an operation, we can get the vehicle into an area pretty quickly. We then park the vehicle. We set up our equipment, which takes minutes. We set up the antennas, we set up the satellite, and we're ready to go. The plane is launched, and then everything happens from this command center. We have two stations, a sensor operator station and a, a flight commander operator station. But the third set of screens is for an anti-poaching unit guy or a management guy or a section ranger. And he's able to then sit with us and compare what we are seeing with his local knowledge. This is like the first time I've actually been this up close with this technology. And yes, yes I'm very, very impressed. Uh, I think it's going to change the game. That collaborative effort is, is enormous to the success of this project. Without their cooperation, it's almost that we shouldn't be here. It has to be a collaborative effort. And that's together with the state organizations, the NGOs such as Peace Parks. We are all jointly involved in this rhino war. We can fly at any time. We can fly at any time in the day, any time at night, and we do so. We fly random times. Nighttime is a big problem for the anti-poaching unit guys. They cannot follow spur at night, and it's very difficult to follow a person or find a person in the bush at night, so the night is the problem. Drones will be a game changer at night, especially with the infrared cameras. There's an IR camera on this, a high resolution IR camera that is allowing us to look at heat signatures on the ground. Um, this mm -hmm. defines anything that is hot, so a hot animal potentially, a human body that's very hot. Um, we can pick up hot spots and we can go in circle and, and have a closer look at that to try and find out what that actually is. We have the opportunity here to be able to view animals, poachers, on the ground in complete black, which is just a, an unbelievable thing. The moment we move into an area and we have a presence and people are aware that these aircraft are flying in the air, the poaching stops. It acts as a huge deterrent in an area. We all conservationists and our drive here is really to ensure that we can protect rhino and protect endangered species going forward so that future generations will actually be able to see these animals in the wild.